Since there has been a significant change in Unify OS since my previous how to create Git network guide, I have decided to create an updated version using the latest network controller. My network model is keep it simple, do no harm. So this is the basic guide. Let's get started. Before creating a guest Wi-Fi, the question you need to ask yourself is, do I need it? The one main reason for setting up guest Wi-Fi is need of complete isolation. If you want to share Wi-Fi access to your guests so they can surf the internet while they are visiting your home, yet you do not want to share your home network password, you do not want to them to access any device in your home network, then you're looking for guest Wi-Fi. With the latest OS version, Unify made guest network creation more intuitive than ever. The general flow for setting up guest network with Unify is following. Define guest network policy under Hotspot Manager. Create guest Wi-Fi. Assign either guest Wi-Fi or guest VLAN to use Hotspot policy. Fortunately, Unify's default Hotspot Manager setting is to block connected client from accessing everything on your network. So step one may be skipped by many home users, except for one minor tweak which I will discuss at the end. This makes a setting as simple as create a new SSID for guest Wi-Fi, then tell either the SSID itself or underlining VLAN to use Hotspot Manager define guest network policy. As for reference, if you're using a system like Aluba Instant, the default is allow all connections, so I had to manually add all blocking policies when setting up guest Wi-Fi in that system. So should we assign hotspot manager policy to SSID level or VLAN level? For guest Wi-Fi purpose alone, there is no practical difference and it may be personal style preference. If there is a good reason to choose one or the other, you should probably choose VLAN approach if you are making dedicated VLAN. It's less quick so long as you are already making new VLAN. If you don't have a reason to make new VLAN, using SSID approach and using existing LAN or VLAN should be fine as these clients still won't have any access to your underlying network. At the time of this recording, my current setup consists following. Unify OS UDM Pro version 3.2.7. Unified Network Controller running on UDM Pro version 8.0.24. The guest Wi-Fi I have following features. Isolated from rest of home network devices. Isolated from other client devices connected to the same SSID. Have own SSID with password. The first option is to create guest network at the level of SSID. In this approach, you don't need to create any new VLAN. First, you log into your unified network controller. Under the network controller left navigation, click setting, then Wi-Fi, and click create new. Now, fill in the name of the guest Wi-Fi SSID and its password. Now, under the advanced section, click manual. There are several options here. The key to make this into isolated guest Wi-Fi mode, you check the hotspot portal option. At this point, you may notice from the top of the screen, we have lost password section. This is because by default, selecting hotspot portal, use open authentication. This means no password is required to use SSID. If you are okay with this, you can hit add and finish now. However, I believe most home users want some type of authentication so your neighbors won't start using your Wi-Fi. You can authenticate through Hotspot Portal's welcome page by customizing Hotspot Manager setting. But here, I will go with more conventional method where we choose SSID to connect and get prompted for password at that time. 
For this, go down toward the bottom of the page and click Security Protocol dropdown. My suggestion here is to use WPA2, which is less secure than WPA3. However, some device can have incompatibility with WPA3. Supposedly, these devices include unpatched Microsoft Surface series. Since we never know what our guest brings, I think it's less hassle to use WPA2. And for home use, I think it's secure enough. Now you can hit Add Wi-Fi Network. Now your guest Wi-Fi should be up and running. The second option is to assign VLAN as a guest network. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. This technology, in brief, allows us to create separate wired network without actually having the physical discrete hardware like another router or network switch. With this approach, there are two basic steps. Create guest VLAN. Create new Wi-Fi network using the VLAN. Under the network controller left navigation, click setting, then networks, and click new virtual network. Here you put a name of the local area network. For those of you who are new to networking, LAN is not the same as Wi-Fi. This is wired backbone side of the network. So you will not see this name when connecting to Wi-Fi. I just call guest VLAN myself here, but you can name whatever. The key step to enable guest network functionality in VLAN, click manual under advanced section. In isolation section, check network. This makes any network connection that uses this VLAN to use guest network role. Optionally, if you want to turn on content filtering, you can do so here. This is one way to put parental control type filtering to all devices using guest VLAN. I will just keep rest of setting as default for simplicity and should work for most of us. Lastly, make sure to hit add to finish creating new VLAN. You should now see this has been added to the bottom of the LAN VLAN list. Now we're going to create a guest specific Wi Fi network SSID. Unlike SSID based guest Wi Fi, here all we need to do is associate the new SSID to guest VLAN. This time we go under Wi Fi setting and hit create new. On this page, we fill the name of guest Wi-Fi SSID and its password. In order to have this SSID, use guest VLAN, click network dropdown, and select the guest VLAN that you have just created. Now hit add Wi-Fi network. You are done. At this point, you should have functional guest Wi-Fi. If you like, you can try connecting to it and see how it works. You will notice there is initial web page, which is called Captive Portal. You may or may not like Unify's default guest page look. So let's briefly take a look at how we can customize this. From the Network Controller left navigation menu, click Hotspot Manager. Next, click Landing Page. Here you can customize the Captive Portal web page. The customization include the visual change as well as adding web page based login, including using social media login. Some may prefer just regular SSID login without any captive portal. For this, go to settings section and uncheck show landing page. Now hit save. Congratulations, you now have fully isolated guest Wi Fi. You can try pinging one of your network device from a device connected to the guest network. You can also try accessing local network device such as router from browser by typing in its IP address. None of them should be working. After playing with other vendors guest network setup, I appreciate how a current version of a unified guest network setup works. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.